You know, the mental thing is the hardest battle. The mind games is the hardest battle I've ever faced. And I would probably, can I get a witness that somebody else agrees that like you can cut my finger with a fish hook and I'll bleed all over, I'll be like laughing about it. But if you take my heart and you mess with my mind, I can crumble into butter like, like my children who don't know they have a father sometimes that really has their best interest. So, so that never stops. And so what we have to continue to do is come back to the text to remember why we can get around that. And if we avoid the text, we avoid solution. Just because you hear it once don't mean it's going to stay good in your garden. you got to keep replanting, retilling, and reharvesting to keep it fresh, to keep the peace, to keep the peace in your house. I don't know about you, but sometimes we have good moments in our house, and sometimes we have ugly moments. It's not just peace once, and it's peace forever. It's not rest in peace until we die. It's, it's peace, fight, argue, whatever. It's called life, right? But as you learn to develop peace faster, you can seize it quicker. You can find peace quicker. I don't know about you, but when you get married and you stay married for a long time, the longer you, get, the longer you stay married, like the more you know the other person, you know how to resolve it faster. It's because you quit, you quit like making it about you. You make it about them and we, we become unconditional with that. And so you learn how to navigate peace faster. 